Hi guys, in this tutorial we're going to learn how to draw a realistic looking crayon. So we are going to be drawing true to life, which means we're going to draw the crayon the exact dimension it appears in real life. Easiest way I think is to kind of just trace it. That way you don't have to measure the crayon. So if you have a crayon handy, place it down and kind of trace it. Now when you trace it, it kind of rolls around, your lines aren't going to be straight, so grab a ruler and straighten up the lines. If you don't have a ruler handy, um, I will give you the dimensions in just a second. Make sure your lines are parallel. So uh, about three and one quarters of an inch long. So two lines that are three and one quarters of an inch long. It looks like they are about a little under half an inch apart. If you don't feel like measuring or you have a, if you have a hard time with measuring, just kind of draw it the best you can. All right, now we're going to try to draw this crayon in perspective. So like a cylinder, we're going to draw the top with a curved line. And now I'm placing the crayon next to my drawing so I know where the uh, designs are supposed to be placed. Each line that's straight, um, that will, that's, that appears straight, will be drawn curved to give the illusion of a curved form. If you take a string or a line and you wrap it around a curved form, that line will become curved as well. So that's why we are drawing all of our lines curved. And notice the bottom of the crayon is drawn in a elliptical circle or like a squished oval. I kind of uh, am adjusting my lines. I was off just a little bit. And then to draw the tip of the crayon, it's like a cone. To make sure it's uh, going straight up, first draw uh, like a center line and kind of a cap at the top, and then from there go down and create your cone shape. Take an eraser and erase that middle line. Drawing that middle line is really going to help make sure your the tip of the crayon is going straight out. And then we're going to draw the little squiggle lines in the stripe. And uh, it's up to you how much more you want to add to your, to your crayon. If you want to do the Crayola uh, wording, you can do that. You don't have to do this part. If you just want to add in the name of the crayon, it's, you know, it's up to you. So here I'm going to show you <laughs> what to, what not to do. Okay, so if you draw your crayon with straight lines instead of curved lines, your crayon is not going to look 3D. It's not. It's going to look flat, like a flat, like a piece of paper. So if your lines are straight like this, erase them and make them curved. So straight lines are not good. Well, as far as that part of the the crayon, if that makes sense. Make sure you can see the the bottom of your crayon. Curved lines are good. All right, guys, that's it for the crayon tutorial. Um, we'll see you next time. Bye.